আর আরে রোয়ায় তো আয় যা আসতো মুজি ওয়ানা উজা কি যে রুজো ইলো আমার লাগি আমার মানছিরা দেখাই ভাল লাগি রুজা রাখতে পারতো না আর হল খাম কিছু কিছু মানছিরা দেখাই ভাল লাগি করতে পারবে সম্ভাবনা আছে পসিবিলিটি আছে নমাজ পড়া এবলা কেউ আইছো ইন সসা আইছো এবলা বিবার আলে খাইনা উনিয়া পড়ি আর লম্বা রুকু কেরা যাতে সসা হয় বলে ও ইলো সবে দেখি যে সুন্দর হই নমাজ পড়া নমাজ শেষ হল না আর তাই গিয়া আলে আমি বাকি বাকি দুজন দুজন দিন শুনে যে পড়িয়া ধরাম গে এইটা হলো গিয়া এটা পসিবিলিটি আছে মানছি কি তাই লাগি আর আইও আস্তে আস্তে আপনার জাকাত তো ওখানে তো মানছিরে হুনাইয়া হুনাইয়া বঞ্চে জাকাত দেরা ইটারে নিজের নফসে কন্ট্রোল করা মুশকিল আছে কারণ ওইসবের মানুষ মানছে ওখানে মানছের নেচার হইল গিয়া যে মানছে আমার কত দান তো আমি কত বড় দৌড়ি আমি কত বড় দান করতে ওয়ালা আমি কত বড় জাকাত দেনে ওয়ালা মানছে এটা চায় যদিও এটা ঠিক নাই আল্লাহর খাতিরে হইতো যত আম হল আছে আর যত ইয়ে হল আছে বালা বালা খাম হল আছে হোটিম শো আপনার রিয়াজ একটা কি দেখা নি রিয়াজেন্টেশন পম্প এন্ড শো এটার পসিবিলিটি সকলতাত আছে কিন্তু এ খাম হল আছে যথার মেজে রিয়া নাই আর এ খাম হল আছে যথার মেজে পম্প এন্ড শো আর অস্টেন্টেশন নাই যেটা আপনি চাইলেও মানছিলে দেখাইতে পারতা নাই এটা লুকাইল এটা শুধু আল্লাহ রবুল আলিমিনে জানো আর এটা হলো রুজার আম এটা হইলো রোজার আমল কেউ দেখেন না আপনি হাইতু দিন না হাইতু না কেউ দেখেন না আপনার ফের খালি না বোরা কেউ দেখেন না আপনার কি অবস্থা ওর পয়সা লাগে নি না লাগে না কি গাই চিরাই আয়রা ঝরা সংঘাত ভররা ইফতারের সময় ইফতার ভররা হ্যাঁ আর আপনার ফোটার সময় ফোটা ভররা এ লাগে এটা আল্লাহর কোয়া আইন লাগে ক্লাস আল্লাহ তালা এটা বানাইছো রোলা যে এটার মধ্যে এক ক্লাস তা তুই বল এটার মধ্যে শুধু আল্লাহর লাগে উইতো ইবার খাল লাগে উইতো না তো আল্লাহ আল্লাহ তালা হই আর সো বলি ওয়ানা আরজি বিহি যে রোজা দেহ তো আমার বান্দা আমার লাগে রাখছো না লাগে আমি তারে স্বয়ং বদলা দিব বাকি ও হল জিনিসের বদলা একটা ফিক্স আছে কিন্তু ই রোজার বদলা ফিক্স না যেহেতু আল্লাহ <laughs> I myself will reward my servants who have fasted throughout the whole month and gone through all these difficulties and sacrifices and you know their timetable, they have rescheduled their timetable etc. for Sahih Iftar etc. Qiyam Allah is Rawi Quran. So I will give them the reward and the other narration is that I myself Allah Rabbul Alameen shall become the reward for my servants. আর আল্লাহ রবুল আলমিনে এমন এক দরজা রাখতো এবং দাদার হতো লাগি যেটা না মূল্য রা গিয়ার আর কেমতের দিন নমাজি অকল নমাজের দরজা বাইতে দেই ভাগি আপনার জাকাত আল্লাহ অকল জাকাতের দরজা বাইতে দেই ভাগি বেহেস্ত এর বাদে সৎকা ফেরার কোন ওয়ালা অকল ফেরা আরেক দরজা বাইতে দেই ভাগি যেটি মুহদ্র সাহায্য করে অকল আরেক দরজা বাইতে দেই ভাগি রোজা <laughs> এগুলারে বাকি রাখবার লাগি বাকি এগারো মাস তারা চেষ্টা করছো নফল রোজা রাখি রাখি যাতে যাতে আগামী মাস যখন আইব আগামী বছর যখন আইব তখন আমরা শখ পুইতাম না আমরা সাপ্লাই পুইতাম না বরং আমরা আমরা ফিল করতাম যে এটা কোনো নয়া জিনিস নেই আমরা প্রত্যেক বছর রোজা রাখি আর প্রত্যেক বছর আমরা আপনার গরিব হতের লগে আপনার আমরা ছাড়ার লগে আমরা ছড়ি কুই আর যে ছাড়া জেলা আনা খানি আনা ফানি ওয়ালাইকুম সালাম আনা খানি আনা ফানি আসতা বছর তারা গুজাররা ওলা আমরাও এক মাস চেষ্টা করিয়া দেখি যে আনা খানিয়া আর আপনার বুকা থাকা অবস্থা অনুভব <laughs> ও মাস আর এটা বাকি এগারো মাস বাকি তাক্ত করি আমরা নকল রোজাও করে রাখি এবং সওয়ালের সহ রোজা যে রাখবা খালকু থাকি লুইয়া আজ তো সওয়ালের পয়লা তারিখ খালকু থাকি লুইয়া সওয়াল মাসের ভিতরা ইসলামিক মাসের নাম হলো সওয়াল আর এই সওয়াল মাসের ভিতরা যে ছয়টা রোজা রাখবা এক লগে রাখতে চাইলে রাখতে পারবা আর বাকি বাকি খাটি খাটি রাখতে চাইলে রাখতে আর বাকি দো মাসের ভিতরা যদি শেষ করি লাই তিন সাল্লাহ ওই দিকে আর কোনো অসুবিধা নাই যে সয় রোজা নকল রোজা রাখবা ফোর্স নাই জাস্ট অপশনাল ভেরি রিওয়ার্ডেবল those who will fast six extra fast 
from tomorrow within this month of Shawwal. It doesn't have to be consecutive together. It can be consecutive together and it can be separate, separate as well. But we have to finish within this month of Shawwal. Over should be trash as hot oil. Now, the day the Allah is the day. Tinsho Hashoti Din, Tinsho Shai Din, or Tada Asta Bachuru Luzara for Swabat of Nagu. Those who will fast this one, Allah, because Allah Tala gives. Uh, multiplies 10 for what each reward so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of fasting 30 days we have gained you know uh, 300 days of uh, fasting uh, reward uh, equivalent to 300 days and uh, if you do another 60 then inshallah 360 so Allah ta'ala will give us the reward and ajran suwab of fasting the whole year round and fasting is very beneficial medically, scientifically, you know, physically, emotionally, health-wise, other and so on, reward-wise. But we should not keep fast because of these things. Our fast is because of the hukum and commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amra Ruzayil Lagina is a medical benefit, as a scientific benefit, as a logical benefit, as a philosophical benefit, as a Bawinukuna Shorilor benefit, as a diabetes, Sakibala Uzangi, Inshallah, Allah will hold diabetes, the whole day, Shifadoka, Otoba, Nasnar, weight loss, Uzangi. Haitana is the whole, and Halidu Ibar, Haibar, Basso, Asihodia, Haibar, Fed for the Haitana, the Shoril of Novala. The Afnar Ruzara Shoril of Novala. In your Tamna for Tamna, but all your for Tamna Allah who could. We should make the intention that it's the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, the other worldly benefits will come through with this. But our intention as Muslims should be that it's the, oh, one of the great pillars of Islam. One of the great pillars of Islam. From the five pillars of Islam, one of the great pillars of Islam. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And so me one has me. That fasting is for me and I will reward regarding fasting. As so many one has me and fasting is for me. So I myself, Allah Rabbul Alimi, shall become the reward and the ajar and swab for this fasting person. And this fasting person shall enter into the Jannah, into the paradise from a door that is called Rayyan, a special door that is called Rayyan. And those who will keep six optional fasts from tomorrow, inshallah, Allah Ta'ala will give them the reward of fasting whole year round 360 days. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been multiplying our reward in the holy month of Ramadan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even after the month of Ramadan, even though He does not, he does not multiply equivalent to the month of Ramadan, you know, Nafal uh, uh, does not become uh, equivalent to first anymore. And each first does not become equivalent to, equivalent to 70 faraiz anymore. And many other swab of Sahih, Iftar, Tarawih, Qiyamul Layl, now we have to wait till next year inshallah Allah Ta'ala save us and give us life till next Ramadan but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not deprived us from reward and swab and ajr and forgiveness and his mercy and blessings the day of the night of Laylatul Jaiza is also a great night the yesterday night the night of Eid is a great night a person says that Al-Eid liman khaf al-wa'id wa laysa al-Eid liman lavis al-jadid that the Eid is for the person who has prepared who has you know, gone through all the striving and struggling of Ramadan. He has gone through the first 10 days, middle 10 days, last 10 days, and Laylatul Qadr, which is more than Khairun Min Al Fishahar, more rewardable than 1000 months, more rewardable than 33 or 34 years and 4 months. And he or she has done a takaf as well, mashallah. The women have done a takaf at home, according to Hanafi Fiqh, and the brothers have done a takaf in the masjid. Mashallah, our elders, our young brother, and our uncle, every year they're doing a takaf in this masjid, masjid in this heat and summer season and all through 10 days which even I couldn't do you know it becomes really hectic and really you know um, um, uh, you know striving and struggling it becomes really heavy on, on many people so mashallah they have accumulated and achieved all this reward now Laylatul Jaiza the night of Eid comes the, the Furush Karu Raita the night of rewarding comes the night of presentation comes just like we have ceremonies Quran's competition and Hadith competition and Makta competition and throughout the whole year whatever the children have done you know whoever comes first, second, third we present them and gift them with presentation to encourage them and make them happy so they do better you know next season and next exam just like you know just like worldly exam and Islamic exam all the same. So even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reward us today and yesterday night. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will present us and gift us today and yesterday night. The angels say, Oh Allah, what is the reward of the worker? What is the reward of the laborer? 
فرشتہ خود نہیں سکھائیں یا اللہ ایک خواہش اپنے اپنے بندہ خود نے روزہ رکھا لا ایک خواہش اپنے اپنے بندہ خود نے خالی فیٹ رکھا لا ایک خواہش اپنے اپنے بندہ رو خود نے وائفر کے ساتھ عبارت دلانا ایک خواہش اپنے اپنے بندہ خود نے کیا ہو رہی لا زگری ہو رہی لا ون من سو اللہ یو میک یو سروینس یو میک یو سروینس یو ہیو ٹریک اٹ وتھ یور اون ہینڈ اینڈ بیفور دا ڈے اف ججمنٹ دے ار دا ویکیسٹ او آل پیپل یو نو تھرو اٹ دا ہول ایئر دے 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 ڈونٹ ہیو اینی اپورچونیٹی اور اسٹرینس اف پاور اور ایمان اور عمل ٹو ڈو اینی تھنگ اینڈ ایون ان دس ہول ایمان تھرٹی ڈیز ون ون whole month round you have kept them empty stomach you have kept them away from water drink and food and going to the wife and you have made them uh, stay up vigil- you know, vigilant and uh, stay up throughout the whole night or part of the night قُمِ اللَّيْلَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا نِسْفَهُ وَمِنْ قُسْمِنْهُ وَأُوْفِ دُورَتِّ لِلْقُرَانَ تَرْتِيلًا and they have you know, stayed up the whole night and they have read Talawi and Tahajjud second Jamaat, first Jamaat MashaAllah the people are busy with taxi and jobs and restaurant jobs even they used to come you know, for 20 rakat tarawih. So the angels say that, Oh Allah, you have made your servants do all this for 30 days. Kill and eat. Now what is that they have worked for you? They have served you so much. And they could have eaten, they could have drank water. They could have, their, their parents not watching, their ustad is not watching, the imam sahib is not watching. And you know, they could have gone down in the fridge or their workplace, you know, boss's fridge, manager's fridge or something, you know, in the, in the kitchen area. And they could have had a sip of water. They could have had some food. They could have had, had a date or two. And then they could have done Toba, they could have done Kafara, they could have done, they could have kept Kaza for Rosa. But no, because of the fear of Allah, because they don't want to lose the blessings of Ramadan, they don't want to lose the blessings of Iftar and Sehi, they don't want to be deprived, you know, from the blessings of Suhaab and Ajar and Yuar and forgiveness of Salatul Layl, Qiyamun Layl, Tarawi and Tahajjud. They made sure that their morning was pure and clean and conspicuous. They made sure that their nights were in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, begging and reciting the Holy Quran, begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. The oh Allah forgive us. Oh Allah we have sinned the whole year round. This holy month for Ramadan. Oh Allah forgive all our sins. Oh Allah accept our sahri and iftar. Oh Allah accept our tarawi and tahajjud and itikaf. Oh Allah give us the night of Laylatul Qadr, Shabbat Qadr. So the angels say, Oh Allah, they have served you the whole month round and their days and nights only for you. <coughs> every day and every second was so valuable and rewardable. Now oh Allah, oh Rabbi Alameen, what is the reward? What is the compensation? What is the pay? what is the wages of the laborer and the server ya allah ya rahman rahim ya ghafur rahim kamla khud aur beton ki tarah hoga mehnat karne wala khud aur furush kar ki tarah hoga asta was tarah apna lagi mehnat aur soi bori shram aur soi apna shughal bhi kal qurban aur soi to allah rabbul alamin ko o amar farishta ghol o my beloved angels don't worry i have plenty in my stock for my servants i'm not i'm not here to give ramazan to kill my you know servants I'm not here to give them all these blessings just for namesake and just to keep them hungry and thirsty. No, I Allah Rabbul Alameen shall give them such a reward that nobody knows in this world and nobody shall know in the hereafter. When hereafter will come, here, I shall reward them with myself and my own reward. But in the world, I am telling you that all my angels stay witness and gawa to my shakki takhyor that I have forgiven all their sins. اے امر او مائی انجل اسٹے وٹنس دیٹ آئی ہیو فور گیون آل دی سینس میجر سین مائنر سین سگیرہ سین کبیرہ سین یو نو مارننگ سین ایوننگ سین اینڈ تھرو واٹ اف دی انجل سی او اللہ واٹ اف اے پرسن ہیز ناٹ کیپ فاسٹ پروپرلی واٹ اف اے پرسن ہیز ناٹ ڈن تراوی تاجد کیم او لائف پروپرلی واٹ اف اس ٹائم ٹائم ہی واز نیگلیکٹفل سہری ٹائم ہی واز سلیپنگ واٹ اف یو نو ہیز ناٹ ان شیت یو نو شیطان ہیز گون ڈاؤن دی بگ بگ شیتین یو نو دے گو ڈاؤن دی اوشن yesterday night they came out unfortunately according to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yesterday night unfortunately they have to come out because allah ta'ala said you are stuck in the ocean you are in my prison for one month only after one month we have no responsibility you come out and you can start your job but if you deceive my servants and my servants raise their hands and they say oh allah i've made a mistake again please forgive me i made wada and promise in ramadan i made wada and promise in laylatul qadr i made wada and promise on laylatul jaiza i made wada and promise on the eid day but a few days after eid few months after eid before second eid i sinned again i said i done something wrong again oh allah out of human nature i made a mistake oh allah i'm very sinful please forgive me allah taala says illa al mukhlasin that my sincere servants when they remember me whenever they remember me whenever they ask for forgiveness i shall forgive them 
Shaitan said, Shaitan said, Oh Allah, you have made me go astray. So because you have made me go astray, then I make a promise, Anzihni ila yawmiddin. Oh Allah, give me time till the day of judgment. Allah Ta'ala said, Oh Shaitan, I give, I've given you time till the day of judgment. What will you do? Shaitan said, Oh Allah, give me some power and strength that I will destroy your servants. I will deprive your servants. I will divert and deviate your servants. I shall not go to hell myself. I shall take them with me. Or in the Jahannam, in the fire of hell, Shaitan will make a member of fire and he shall sit on the member. And Shaitan, Iblis, who was Azazil before, you know, the Sardarul Malaika, Ta'usul Malaika in charge of all the angels, and because of not being one such that, he became Malrood, he became cursed to the day of judgment. He shall make a member, can you imagine? He shall make a member pulpit out of fire and he shall sit on it and he shall give bayan, he shall give khutbah. In Jahannam, Allah Ta'ala mentions in two rukus of the Holy Quran and he shall say, that today blame yourselves, don't blame me. Everyone will say that you are blameworthy. You are the main troublemaker. Because of you whispering and because of your troubles and because of your you know, tricks and propaganda, we have come to Jahannam, we have come in the fire of hell. Shaitan will say, no. All I've done is I whispered in your ear, that's it, I've done nothing. Who told you to listen to my whisper? Who told you to respond to my whisper? Did I tie your hands and legs and say don't fast, don't do a hajj, don't do halal, do a haram? No, I only whispered, I only put the thought inside your head. Inna shaitan akana da'ifa. Allah Ta'ala says shaitan is nothing. The propaganda and plans of shaitan is very weak indeed. Wa makaru wa makaru Allah. Wallahu khayrul makirin. Not only shayateen, but the whole group and the whole clan of shayateen. Min al-jinnati wa nas The last verses of the Holy Quran. Qul awzul rabbin nas. The shayateen and the devils from the human beings and the shayateen and the devils from shaitan clan himself and themselves. All of them, their plan and propaganda are nothing. They're weaker, you know, than even a mosquito wing. They're weaker than, than any weakest creation on earth. And the Iman and Amal, the Nurani Iman and Amal reciting the Holy Quran abundantly. Alhamdulillah. In the Holy Month of Ramadan, Allah Ta'ala gave us the tawfiq to connect with the Holy Quran. In the Holy Month of Ramadan, Allah Ta'ala gave us the tawfiq to connect with the Holy Quran. Alhamdulillah. Summa Alhamdulillah. This Quran, Al Quran, Hujjatul Lakaw Alaik. This Quran will intercede on behalf of us or against us on the Day of Judgment. If we fulfill the right of the Holy Quran through this month of Ramadan and also keep it going continuously, open the Holy Quran every day, my brothers and sisters and mothers listening from home. Please don't put the Quran onto the shelf for next Ramadan. This is very bad situation, sad situation. Very, very bad and sad situation. The Quran will hold us responsible on the Day of Judgment. Prophet ﷺ will hold us responsible on the Day of Judgment. The Quran will say, Oh Allah, Oh Prophet ﷺ, your followers abandoned me. Your followers just used me and utilized me and abused me just for birth and death. Was I created for birth and death only? Was the, did the Quran come down just for birth and death? Did the Quran come down just for Surah Yaseen? Did the Quran come down just for Surah Mulk? Did the Quran come down for just for, you know, Charlie's Khani and this Khatam and this Khatam and that Khatam and Gyarwi Sharif and this Sharif and that Sharif? Subhanallah. وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَلَا يَزِيدُ الظَّالِمِينَ إِلَّا خَسَارًا We have revealed the Holy Quran as a shifa. What kind of shifa? Not the Tawil shifa. Not the medicine, uh, you know, shifa. Not the medical shifa. Yes, it is possible that through Surah Al-Fatiha, if you blow on your body, inshallah, your problem, your scorpion bite, your snake bite, whatever, inshallah, through the Quran, Allah Ta'ala will give medical and physical shifa as well. That is there as well, no doubt. And as a blessing and guidance for the believers, And those who neglect the Quran, abandon the Quran, and those who abuse the Quran, and those who forget the Quran, and those who reject the Quran, their zulum and their darkness and ignorance shall increase on this world and shall increase more in the hereafter. So what kind of shifa is Allah Ta'ala talking about? That the Quran is shifa, Quran is the cure. That cure is not referring to medical diseases only. Even though there are many ahadith that it can be utilized, the barakah of the Holy Quran, the blessings of the Holy Quran is so beneficial and so rewarding that even medical problems can and have been cured. Alhamdulillah. Surah Fatiha, Ayatul Kursi, you know, uh, four fools, and uh, Surah Baqarah, you know, Surah Baqarah is very good to move the jinns and shayateen from the home. But if we, if we just read the Holy Quran to move the shayateen, and the shaitan inside us, the jinn inside us is still there. We don't make effort to move that jinn inside us. Uh, inside us. Surah Baqarah will do nothing. 
as to so see will do nothing. We have to fix our iman and amal first. For all the things we have achieved in the month of Ramadan, we have to stay steadfast on these things throughout the whole year round till next Ramadan, inshallah. Say inshallah. Allah Ta'ala give us tawfiq. Because if we don't keep, keep connected to the Holy Quran, if we don't keep connected to the Holy Masjid, if we don't keep connected to Nafal fasting, if we don't keep connected to Sadqat al-Fitr, Zakat al-Fitr and other first Zakat as well, if we don't keep connected to the commandments and the Hukum and Akam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we don't keep connected with the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa the lifestyle of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa then we have lost heart from the blessings of Ramadan, we have lost heart from the Suwab and Ajr and the word of Ramadan, we have lost heart from the intercession of the Holy Quran, and we have lost heart from the Barakah and tradition of the Prophet Prophet ﷺ will only intercede for us and Prophet ﷺ will use the Holy Quran on our behalf as well. Quran will intercede if we have fulfilled the right of Ramadan, if we have fulfilled the right of the Holy Quran, if we have fulfilled the right of the coming um, of, of, the, of the Prophet ﷺ. Why, did, why, did, why were we created? That I have created jinn kind and mankind only for my ibadah, only for my recognition, only for uh, my worship and ibadah. So much so that our daily routine, our jobs, our works, our morning and evening, our businesses, our trade, if we are truthful, if we are sincere, if we are honest, if we you know, perform our prayers on time, even in our workplaces, if we sometimes keep Monday fast as well and Thursday fast as well, if we keep the shawal fast, if we train and educate our family members, our women folk, our mothers and sisters, you know, we tell them to, you know, don the hijab, wear the hijab and bursa and niqab, etc. If not niqab, then at least the hijab. One, one brother was saying, at Molisa, where is niqab in the Holy Quran? I told him, bye, brother, forget the face, worry about the body. The body hasn't been covered if you're talking about the face. The body hasn't been covered if you're talking about the face. The body hasn't been covered if you're talking about the face. The body hasn't been covered if you're talking about the face. The body hasn't been covered if you're talking about the face. The face is not a big issue. What about the collar, what about the belly button, what about the arms, and what about the legs, and what about the feet, and what about the aura? al to aura to the entire woman is aura. The tight fitting, tight clothing. On each day even more, na'udhu billah min zalik. On each day, Moli Sahib, Eid means happiness. Yes, of course, Eid means happiness. We all know that. But what type of happiness? Did Allah say, you know, I made you, you know, control your desires for 11 months, even in the month of Ramadan, even more. Now on each day, you can do as you wish. On each day you can roam around, you can get a Lamborghini, waste your money, go under the tunnel and become Shaheed. Huh? On each day you can show off with all your clothing and fashion and everything, copy the kufar even more. On each day you can mingle and intermingle and free mix and, you know, um, um, uh, keep your women, you know, walking around the streets without hijab and niqab. No, that is not Eid. That's why, that's why the either hadith or not a hadith, but a, but a poet, a special uh, person is saying that al read liman khaf al who is Eid for? Who deserves this Eid today? Who deserves yesterday night's Laylatul Jaiza? Not everyone. The person who deserves yesterday's Laylatul Jaiza, the night of presentation, the night of gifting, Purushkaru right, and the person who deserves today's Eid Salah, the blessings and the forgiveness and the Barakah, is the person, Liman Khaf al Wa'id, is the person who has tried and struggled throughout the whole month and now is ready to fear Allah, now is ready to obey Allah, now is ready to serve Allah, now is ready to serve the, 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 the creation of Allah, now is ready to be humble, now is ready to you know, um, cleanse himself and purify himself, he should have cleansed and purified himself throughout the whole month of Ramadan anyway now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to present, present him with forgiveness and gift him with his blessings and mercy in this one and in the year after and Eid is not for the person who just wears nice clothing. Eid is not for the person who just gets new trainers every year, new dress every year, new shop every year, new, you know, everything every year. It's not sunnah to have to buy new things every year. It's okay, there's nothing wrong if you can afford it and if it's not extravagant and you're giving your normal zakat and lillah, sadaqatul fitr. If any shortcoming in Ramadan, then this shortcoming is fulfilled through sadaqatul fitr. Fitrana maidum as zikuna dinish. Bakita khe ruzama sho, kichu bakiru yigisigi amra hoka da yisana, sehri tarawi ruzai tadi. 
شغال بیکار تلاوت صدکه صدکه فیتور میکدمه فیتور نه فشار میکدمه چه اگه خودی فرون فروید راست و الله تلاگی بس the chance to do sadaqah to fitr to perform sadaqah and zakat um, um, uh, for those people who you know if there's anything left from the month of ramadan any shortcoming then or we've sinned or whatever you know minor major allah ta'ala will forgive our sins and allah ta'ala will uh, fulfill the shortcoming through sadaqah al fitr and this sadaqah al fitr zakat al fitr should reach the poor people in our countries or even in this country if you know any poor people and you know it's not surprising that even in this country because of so many problems and issues you know they are poor people they are poor people they are bodies and organizations who you know uh, give zakat and sadqa lillah to muslims and poor non-muslims as well in this country as well so it's not just abroad even in this country daily we can see you know poverty and employ- unemployment and all these things issues and problems rising every day so if they fulfill the requirements and conditions of zakat sadqa lillah zakat al fitr we can give them we can pay them we can donate to them that's no problem but of course you know uh, our relatives our poor relatives our poor brothers and sisters in syria we should remember them as well you know whole syria is washed away and burnt to pieces and ashes what if this happens to us glenfell tower you know what is already happened in london and then the other issues that happened in london we should pray for our muslim brothers and sisters who are all you know globally and our for ourselves as well and we should take lessons from these things as well because these things have entered UK already once upon a time we used to say our elders used to say that one day you will have to go out of this country never ever think that this country is yours and we used to tell our elders our parents and our granddads and everyone hey, what are you on about what are you talking about we are born here we are British born inshallah we will die here we will do everything here we shall spend Islam over here we shall have many masajid madaris khankas and institutions and mashallah environment and everything Islam is spread non-Muslims will accept Islam yes of course non-Muslims are accepting Islam they are coming to the fold of Islam, not through our akhlaq and iman and amal because we don't have those. They are not coming into Islam because of our iman and amal and akhlaq. You know, we haven't done nothing for that. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi You know, whatever we have done, may Allah accept. But majority of our people are in the prison. I'm also a chaplain, prison HMP chaplain as well. Majority of them are stuck over there. You know, and they call the imams to come and guide them and lead them and help them and assist them and advise them. So majority of them are stuck over there. So what, what kind of Islam shall they take from us? You know, all the problems and all the causes are, you know, through Muslims all over the world. You know, missing Salah, all the other evil, the Munkarat, Fasha, the sins, you know, all the other things throughout the whole world. You know, all of them are being committed through Muslims, etc., etc. So until we don't come back onto following the Holy Quran, until we, do, we don't come back to Quran and Sunnah, until we don't be sincere and loyal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our Creator, then, until then, the blessings of Eid, you know, won't be felt by us, the blessings of Ramadan won't be felt by us, the forgiveness of Allah ta'ala won't include us, the forgiveness of Allah ta'ala shall include us only if we have fulfilled the, uh, the right and the haq of Ramadan, say he if the, uh, the, 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 right, the right of Laylatul Qadr, the night of Jaiza, first Allah says in a hadith that whoever stays up in the night of Eid, Allah Ta'ala will save him from the horrors of the day of judgment, the horrors of Qiyamah as well. And whoever comes to Eid Salah, the angels, Allah Ta'ala says to the angels that, oh my angels, what shall I do to my servants? They have done all this, they have come, you know, early in the morning after one month of vigil, after one month of reciting Quran, after completion of the Holy Quran, after staying hungry and thirsty for me. And what shall, what shall I do? To, how shall I pay them? The angels say, the Allah Ta'ala says that all oh, my angels, I should, the, um, their requirement and their, um, their payment is, compensation is that they, they are paid fully by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala in this world and the hereafter. And Allah Ta'ala also says, O oh my angels, remember that time when He said that why are you creating human beings? O Shema Tumra Munohra, O Shema Tumra Khusra, the Bani Adam Lekhana Bada Hurra. Amra Zatashto, we are enough. Nahnu Sabbihu Bihamdika wa Nukadis Allah. O Allah, we are enough. We are angels made out of nur and light. We never sin. La Yasoon Allah Ma Amarahum wa Yafa'aloon Ma Yukmaroon. We never sin. We only obey you and worship you. Why are you creating, you know, uh, mankind who will cause bloodshed and murder and disaster and catastrophe on this world? So just like the jinns caused before them. So Allah Ta'ala said, نَحْنُ نُسَبْرُ Allah Ta'ala said, إِنِّي أَعْلَمُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ All oh, my angels, yes they will sin. Yes they, this is why I created them. This is why I created them. Because all oh, my angels, all you people know is ibada, ibada, ibada. All you people know is worship, worship, worship. All you people know is good and good and good. 
You have no feeling of bad. You have no feeling of evil. You have no feeling of lust and desire. But I created lust and desire in my uh, servants uh, along with free will and power, along with the understanding and intellect of ibadah and worship and to make decisions. شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس يبينات الهدى من الهدى والفرقان I gave them something called فرقان I gave them something called فرقان فرقان is the, dis- the ability and the istidad and the strength and power and the understanding to understand the difference between right and wrong, wrong halal and haram you don't have this understanding oh my angels even Jibreel a.s. all the angels except Jibreel a.s. because he was Sardar al-Malaika he came down with all the Quran and Torah and Injil is the book. So Allah said, Oh my angels, on this day, on Eid and Ramadan and Laylatul Jaiza, maybe they have sinned, maybe they have caused murder, may have, maybe they have done, committed you know, major crime or minor crime, severe sin or severe sin, because of their human nature. But I have also kept the other door open as well. The door of my forgiveness, the door of my rahmah, the door of my blessing. When they raise their hands and they say, Oh Allah, I have sinned. Oh Allah, I am really guilty in front of you. رَبَّنَا ظُلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِنْ لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرَحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَ لَنَّا مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ The dua of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam who cried for 40 years and after 40 years of crying, ocean of tears, Allah Ta'ala forgave him because of this dua. He said, Oh Allah, we have wronged ourselves. Oh Allah, we have done zulm on ourselves. Oh Allah, we have oppressed our souls. Oh Allah, we have, if you don't forgive us today, then nobody will forgive us. We will, we will be the losers in this world in the year after. Rabbana zulamna anhu salah wa illam taghfir lana wa tarahamna tanakunanna min al-khasirin So Allah please forgive us. So all my angels today I will forgive them. Today I will forgive all these sins. Today the after Salat al they will return back to their homes and families like a newborn baby. বিভিন্ন ইচ্ছা হল ডিজায়ার দখল আর বিভিন্ন ইন্টেনশন হল আমি রাখছি যাতে তারা খুঁজিলো তারা উঠে উঠে যায় সো দেই বি মোর রিওয়ার্ডেবল তো তারা নয়া শিশুর লেখা নয়া বাচ্চার লেখা বেগুনা শিশুর লেখা ফিরত যাইবা করো তারা কোনো গুণা উত্তর নাই উই উইল রিটার্ন হোম ইনশাল্লাহ টুডে আফটার ইট লাইক নিউ বোর্ন বেবি আল্লাহ তালা ফকিব অল আওয়ার সিস সো ইনশাল্লাহ মাই ডিয়ার রেসপেক্টিভ এল্ডার্স এন্ড ব্রাদার্স টুডে ইজ the day of Eid, today is the day of happiness, inshallah, we should, you know, educate and train and remind our family members, our children, our, fam- our women folks, especially on this day, they tend to, you know, show more and they tend to start merry-making in a haram way and non-Islamic way. This will not please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, instead this will displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this will destroy all this effort and all this treasure, you know, all this talk and treasure that we have achieved throughout the holy Ramadan, all this iman, all this Nur, all this amal, all this researching of the Holy Quran, all this tahajjud and qiyamun lay, all this coming to the masjid frequently. I request all my brothers and sisters and you know all my students and everyone and elders and uncles that after Ramadan, don't wait for next Ramadan to come to the masjid. Masjid and Islam is for every day. We are, tw- we are not 24 hour Muslim. We are not 12 hour Muslim. We are not Ramadani Muslim. We are not only for Eid and Jummah. We are not only for birth and death. We are, Quran is not only for Yasin and Tabarak al You know, we we are not only for, you know, like Christmas or anything like this. No, we are Muslims and Islam is forever, eternal. There's no ending. We have to worship Allah Ta'ala every day of our lives. Wherever we are, whoever we are, and, and every time. That's why my brothers, my humble request is that please remember the masjid, remember the imam, remember the Quran, remember the shelves of the masjid, remember the etikaf that you have done, remember all these things that you have done, remember the second jamaat, the second tarawi to my restaurant working brothers, you know, don't wait for next year, next second tarawi, remember that you have made all this effort, now keep, to keep all this effort going and continuing till the next Ramadan, we have to still come to the masjid whenever we can, especially the five times salat, five times salat is first, if you haven't been praying last year or last Ramadan or even this Ramadan, then now through Ramadan and after Ramadan, we have to grab this thing called prayer, the second pillar of Islam. Ramadan is also a pillar of Islam. We have to grab this thing so strongly that Namaz is not forgiven ever. There's no condition of forgiveness for uh, Salah. Salah has to be done, you know, with all the conditions everywhere, wherever we are, whoever we are.
That's why please continue praying your salah and add nafal optional salahs as well. And you know zakat, if zakat is first, if we have missed salah Ramadan zakat, we should make up for these things as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a tawfiq inshallah. Brothers will come for you know um, uh, donating, uh, fundraising and donating uh, sadaqat al fitr and normal donation as well upstairs and downstairs. All brothers are requested, please donate generously. Even today Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive us and reward us for donation inshallah. Allah ta'ala give us tawfiq. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak Amra Ashok Leo Zandam Dirgo Yakhmaj Shiyam Shadona Parar Bhuaraj Ki Amra Kushir Jin Musa Malak Lohr Shabche Baradur Miyut Shob Amra Shogol Mokshid Ayi Si Allah Dala Amra Shogol Dhe Khabul Ebog Mujur Karo Ka Aami Amra Photi Wa Baro Niyai Baro Tinta Khalekshon Ibu Amra Adi Ekta Mokshid Lagi Ekta Imam Sama Lagi Ekta Fidrar Phasha मोस्टली तो भाषा हमरा के एसिस्टेंट ट्रेडरा मोनिया का लिखना और बात पिछला भाषा हमरा पाइस प्रेसिडेंट अमरुस में आकर बात और मोस्टली तो लगी हमरा एसिस्टेंट ट्रेडरा इस बात आतिब्रो मंच आए इमान साबुल लगी पर बात आतिब्रो मंच आए आपने आशोक ले मोन कुछ याद आने पर बात हमरा आशोक ले तो इधर लगी लावर तमाम Inshallah, our three brothers going around with the bag for donation. One bag will be for uh, the Imam. Inshallah, one bag will be for uh, the uh, one bag will be for the Katul Fitr, and one bag will be for the normal donation. Inshallah. So please donate generously upstairs and downstairs, brothers and sisters. Allah Taala donate. <laughs> ठीक है सर बोला हूँ गैसर ठीक है तो सर सर भाई इंशाल्लाह रोज रोज ठीक है रोज ही ओह तब रोज रोज तो Thank you. So inshallah, don't eat brothers generously. May Allah Ta'ala accept. And forgive all our sins and accept our Eid, Tahiri, Star, Tarawi, everything. And give us life till next Ramadan as well. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us to be again to fast properly much better than this Ramadan. And Allah ta'ala keep the Barakah blessings and everything continue till the month of, till next year, inshallah, next Ramadan. So please donate generously. Deen Kuliya Dhoka, inshallah. Asko, Swabur, Dina, Sayyid, or Deen, Barkut, or Deen, Maafirat, or Deen, Hedayat, or Deen. Asko, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Mere Purushkar, Diba. एवं स्वाद दीवा और ये कोबुल को बाय लगी ये बोला सुखा खरातर मंजु में इसी कुना छुट्टी हुई है ताकि उधर मंजे तो इंशाल्लाह ये छुट्टी पूरा हुई दीवो और कोटी पूरन पूरा हुई दीवो इंशाल्लाह इन द हदीस प्रोसेस लाय सलाम सेस दैट लिस्वाई मी फरहातान दैट फॉर द फास्टिंग पर्सन दे इस टू हैप्� for the fasting person, there is two times of happiness. One time of happiness is in the fitrihi, at the time of iftar, because after the whole day of fasting, the whole day of not eating and drinking, we are dying for food. Food is in front of us. All our watermelons and everything and dates and you know kifuri and all these things, roti and everything is in front of us. And you wait, you're looking at the time and you know you're looking at your watch. And you know, uh, and you're dying for the food, and and the amount of happiness we feel right after the azan is gone, you know, that happiness can't be explained properly in words in this world or the hereafter. And there, khushi amra iftar or shomay amra roz, there anon doh, khushi hoy. Allah Rasul 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 Allah R
and this happiness is only given in the holy month of Ramadan. We can eat all the kebabs and all the HMZ food and all the restaurant food and everything all year round, but we will never feel the happiness. Is this, is this true, my brothers and sisters? So, Prophet told us 1400 years ago that this special barakah, spiritual barakah, and feeling of happiness, this is actual happiness at the time of iftar. So, for the fasting person, there's two types of happiness. One daily iftar time, uh, and dua is accepted as well, and there's no, there's no shaitan or fitna or, or anything like this, you know, influence at that time. And the other time is at the time of our death, at the time of the death of the believer, he you know, he welcomes death, a believer, you know, finds death to be welcoming and as a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a believer is always eager to meet his Lord. He wants to meet his Lord more than anyone else, more than his parents, more than his children. A proper believer, sincere believer and, and, and that's another time when he's really happy, when he can see Jannah, paradise, the angels, the who's, the damsels of Jannah. That's also a time of happiness. And the other time of happiness is also on the day of Eid is also another happiness. Eid or fitr. What does fitr mean? Fitr means breakfast. Fitr means you love nashta hora, guzaban gilawa. Breakfast. Where did they bring the word breakfast from? Every day we have breakfast in the morning. In which holds the breakfast for it? The breakfast for it is given. Break fast. Fast is roza. Yes, and break is break. So the breakfast we do in the morning is also that you have not been eating all night long or maybe part of the day as well. Now, 7 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning, before you go to work, you have breakfast, you break your, you know, uh, thirst, you quench your thirst, and you break your uh, empty stomach, and you have food. So just like this, we have fasted all of, you know, the whole day, the whole month, now is our time in the evening to break our fast, uh, iftar time, and, and on the Eid, Eid al Fitr also comes from the word iftar and fitr, sounds the same, fatar, and also comes from the word Fitrana as well, the breakfast in the morning. That means to break our fast. So today, on the day of Eid, fasting is haram. And fasting day, Eid is also haram. Eid or din uzarakha wa haram, or uzadin Eid or haram. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to do things the way He told us. So if He told us to break our fast, today we have to eat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to do things the way He told us. So if He told us to break our fast, today we have to eat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to do things the way He told us. So if He told us to break our fast, today we have to eat. Today I will stay hungry as well. I you know, I'm so strong spiritually, you know, I've done all this throughout the month. Today I will also do it at the top. Today I will also, you know, break my fast in the evening at 9 o'clock. People will say, oh, Pagal, are you mad or something? The whole world is doing eat. You know, what's wrong with you? So Allah also says that eat has to be done the way, the way I told you to do eat. The way my Prophet showed you to do eat. The way Sahabas that eat. Rosa has to be kept, fasting has to be kept the way Allah told us. The way Prophet showed us. The way Sahabas explained to us. Everything of our Sharia and Islam and day and night and life it has to be according to Quran and Sunnah. Not the way we feel like, not the way we desire, not the way we understand, not the way we find our forefathers from our countries and our traditional customs. No. There's no room for that. Islam is unique, Islam is perfect, Islam is complete. That's why every single thing has to be according to the guidelines of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, according to the commandments of Allah and Yusuf sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a tawfiq wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa qulu qawli hadha astaghfirullah. Wa astaghfirullah alayhi wa lakum alayhi wa alayhi wa muslimin. Wa astaghfirullah ya rajal muslimin. Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. Wa lillahi al-abda. Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. Wa lillahi al-abda. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi al-hamd If you haven't given fitrah, then that should be given before the salah and you should reach the four people before salah as well so they can be happy today as well <coughs> We can fulfill the rights as well and we should come, you know, one way and go the other way inshallah and, you know, making gusal, wearing good clothes or new clothes putting atar and perfume on and also reading this talbiya Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar wa lillahi alham on the way to the masjid and also going back slowly in this Eid and loudly in the next Eid Asta asta oh 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 ido azrudre badur kurbani ido and these are the two days of happiness when Allah so, Prophet came to Medina, he saw them celebrate two days. So he said, what are you doing, what are you doing in these two days? You know, the days to do a lot of bad things as well. So, 
uh, immoral things as well. Prophet they said we celebrating two days, you know, uh, so Allah, Prophet said that Allah Ta'ala has given us two days of celebration, two days of happiness and joy, and that is Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Azha. The first Eid and the second Eid, that's it. And they are conditions which I have already mentioned. <coughs> So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept, inshallah, I hope we have passed our cars properly as well. And um, every Juma, inshallah, we should keep this in mind. And mashallah, the wuzu hana told us already as well, we can benefit from these things as well. Keep donating to the masjid as well for the future, for the masjid as well. And inshallah, um, you know, after the first Juma, there's going to be a second Juma at half ten. They need to come in as well and prepare and sit down and use the facilities as well, inshallah. So please, after Salah, you know, don't waste time, you know, too much hugging and kissing and, you know, doing all these things. These things we can do, you know, at home as well. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't waste time on the streets as well because this residential area, you know, you know, neighbors might complain. Inshallah, they should feel the barakah of Eid today as well, and barakah of Ramadan as well. They should learn from us as well that we are peaceful people, we are loving and caring people, we are considered a people, and we, you know, through our iman and our mal and our actions, even silently, we show them good manners and good ways as well. So they can come closer to iman and Islam as well. So inshallah, please go home straight away. Uh, another thing is that Musabaha is Sunnah anytime and every time. But Mu'ana Kago Lagoni Zakta, this is only when someone comes from Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, or Hajj and Umrah, or you met your best friend or parents or Peer Sahab or Sheikh Sahab after a long time. Then you do Mu'anaka, the Vaisa Vaisa, me, mashallah, you know, Imam Sahab, after a three week holiday you have come, <laughs> then, then, then we can do Mu'anaka. That's no problem. But, you know, every day or every Eid, that's not a Sunnah. So, inshallah, keep this in mind. So inshallah, I'll quickly go through the procedure of reading Eid prayer because we only perform Eid twice a year. And um, the procedure of Eid prayer is, there's no ikama, there's no azan for Eid. We stand up, stretch in the roads, fill in the gaps, you know, make sure there's no gaps in between. This is very important as well. And then inshallah, we, there's going to be six extra takbir. And in uh, first rakat, three extra takbir, second rakat, three extra takbir. When we say, um, we make intention that, oh Allah, I am praying Eid al-Fitr Salah, Wajib Salah, with six extra takbir behind the Imam, Allahu Akbar, facing the Qibla. Then we fold our hands and we say, Subhanakallahumma bihamdika wa tabarak asmuka wa ta'ala jadduka wa la ilaha ghayru. And then the Imam and everyone, we say, Allahu Akbar, and let go. Then we say second time, Allahu Akbar, and let go. Then we say, Say third time, Allahu Akbar, and on the third time, uh, 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 we fasten our hands, and the Imam will read Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, and he will join a surah, any surah, and they will he, he will go to Ruku and Sajda, and he will come on back on the second rakat. Second rakat, the Imam will read Surah Fatiha first, and then join any surah, and before going to Ruku, Imam will raise everyone, we raise our hands up to the ears, Allahu Akbar, and let go. Then again, Allahu Akbar, and let go. Then again, third time, Allahu Akbar, and let go. Go, then the fourth that we will go to the court and says that and we will finish the salah of inshallah. But like all of tonight, inshallah. In English, inshallah, we understand English. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept. Please stand up, inshallah, upstairs and downstairs. We'll make intention of uh, each salah uh, with six extra takbir and inshallah, the uh, mouth will start now, inshallah. So, Shizahuri Loka is the word of the way of Mukhullah. He straightened the rows upstairs and downstairs. Please make sure there's no gaps in between. And inshallah, we're um, ready for Salah to read, inshallah, first of all. Allah, what for? Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'abdu wa Iyaka Nasta'in اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين يا أيها المزمل قم الليل إلا قليلا 
نصفه ومن نقص منه قليلا أو زد عليه ورتل القرآن ترتيلا إنا سنلقي عليك قولا وتقيلا إن ناشية الليل هي شد وتوق ومقيلا إن لك في النهار صبحا طويلا واذكر اسم ربك وتبتل إليه تبتيلا رب المشرق والمغرب لا إله إلا هو فاتخذه وكيلا واصبر على ما يقولون وهجره مهجرا جميلا وذرني والمكذبين أولي النعمة ومهلهم قليلا إن لدينا أنكاله وجحيما وطعاما مضى غصة وعذابا أليما يوم ترجف العرض والجبال وكانت الجبال كثيبا مهيلا إنا رسلنا إليكم رسولا شاهدا عليكم كما رسلنا إلى فرعون رسولا فعصى فرعون الرسول وآخذناه أخذا وبيلا فكيف تتقون إن كفرتم يوما يجعل الولدان ولدان شيبا السماء منفتر به كان وعده مفعولا إن هذه تذكرة فمن شاء اتخذ إلى ربه سبيلا الله أكبر سمع الله من حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين والتين والزيتون وتور سينين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان سَنَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمٍ ثُمَّ وَدَدْنَاهُ أَسْفَلَ سَافِلِينَ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ فَلَهُمْ أَجْرٌ غَيْرُ مَمْنُونٍ فَمَا يُكَذِّبُكَ بَعْدُ بِالدِّينِ أَلَيْسَ اللَّهُ بِأَحْكَمِ الْحَاكِمِينَ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله من حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد
Sarà del di furba una furba di sonna, che mi sembra la furba di di barba. Allah, 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 Allah,
شبہ جنت الفردوس نے سیخ فرما شبہ جہنم دی کے خلاصی نے سیخ فرما سوال جواب ہے آسان فرما کہ اللہ تعالیٰ درجات جو بلند فرما کہ اللہ اس کو یہ در اصل روزہ وہاں صدقہ جاری ہے شبہ ترا روحانی افرے بخشیا ترا رے اللہ ہم در افرے خوشی فرما ہم در اترا افرے خوشی فرما کہ اللہ ہم در افرے خوشی خوشی دے رہا فرما اور ہم در افرے خوشی فرما رضی اللہ عنہ و رضوان کہ اللہ ارم الرحیم انزل صحابہ و خلافنا افرے خوشی اصلہ افلو صحابہ نبی ہم در افرے خوشی اصلہ اللہ اس کو خوشی دن یا اللہ اس کو خوشی دن رسول اللہ کہ اللہ اپنا مغفرت اور اعلان فرما کہ اللہ اپنا یہ خوشی خوشی نار اعلان فرما کہ اللہ ارم الرحیم نفس شدن گتا دے کام در حفاظت فرما اللہ گتو رائے شیطان اچھے یا اللہ شہر شمدرو تکی بھرو یا اللہ ہم در وصف سکی بھو یا اللہ دکا دی بھو اور پر پشت اخر بھو کہ اللہ ارم الرحیم سی بس فرما بس فرما بس شیطان کہ اللہ اکسپٹ آور رمضان اکسپٹ آور عید کہ اللہ فقی بولا و سینس کہ اللہ کیو دائی لین یا فقی بدا دیسیز بیماری اخل در یا اللہ شفا نصیب فرما کہ اللہ دان فرد گرہ ورسل دوز بھائی دونائی چیز یا اللہ اکسپٹ در دونائیشن سپلیکیشن اور انٹینشن کہ اللہ give us life till next رمضان کہ اللہ ارم give us توفیق تو آدھا ہو لیا کہ اللہ protect us and secure us in this world and in the year after from all calamities of both worlds یا اللہ ارم العالمین کہ اللہ اکسپٹ آور دوار سیم فیس اور سلیوٹیشن تو دا ہوری پر صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و مسئل اللہ تبارک و تعالی خیر قیر سیدنا و نبینا مولانا محمد و علی علیہ و صحابی اجمعین سبحان ربی کا ربی رفت اما سیفون و سلام علی المرسلین و الحمدللہ رب العالمین برحمت کا یا اللہ Please leave as soon as possible, Jazakallah khair, and uh, let the second Jamaat come in, Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.